Ever wondered why your self-confidence seems to be playing a game of hide-and-seek with you? You're not alone. Our self-confidence is influenced by a myriad of factors, and surprisingly, some are habits we may unknowingly be creating. Welcome back to Mental Hive. Today we delve into the secrets of the human mind and behavior. We're going to arm you with strategies to reclaim your confidence. Stay tuned, and let's dive into the 10 habits that could be stealthily eroding your self-confidence. Diving into the realm of self-confidence, it's intriguing to explore its dual facets. On one side, we grapple with its definition, a blend of trust in our own abilities, our qualities, and our judgment. Self-confidence is not just a feeling, it's a power, a silent magic that leaves lasting imprints on our personal and professional lives. On the other hand, we're confronted with a lack of confidence, which isn't always due to daunting social anxieties or mental health disorders. Sometimes, it's the seemingly harmless habits we've unknowingly formed that chip away at our self-perception, hinting that confidence, as elusive as it might seem, can be cultivated with the right awareness and attitude. Subconsciously, we may harbor habits that, unbeknownst to us, are nibbling away at our confidence, subtly transforming our perceptions of ourselves. It's vital to identify these habits, because once they are exposed, we can start working towards replacing them with more positive and confidence-building habits. The journey to nurturing self-confidence isn't merely about harnessing your strengths, but also about understanding and amending the behaviors and practices that are weighing you down. It's a process of self-discovery, self-improvement, and most importantly, self-empowerment. While it may seem superficial to some, neglecting your personal appearance has a profound impact on self-confidence. The care and attention we devote to our hygiene and aesthetics are reflections of our self-respect. If we ignore our appearance, we risk damaging our self-esteem, particularly when interacting with others. Feeling good about how we look enhances our confidence, amplifying our presence in social situations. Remember, when you take pride in your appearance, it's a silent yet potent message of self-assuredness you send to the world. Focusing obsessively on minor imperfections can stealthily sabotage your self-confidence. When you constantly magnify small flaws, it's akin to viewing yourself through a distorted lens, causing self-loathing and feelings of inadequacy. This ritualistic self-critique replaces self-appreciation with constant scrutiny, a mental environment not conducive for a confident mindset. Instead, try channeling your energy into celebrating your positive attributes. It might feel a tad awkward initially, especially if cynicism has been your companion for a while. But keep going, because just like flexing a muscle, daily practice of positive self-reflection can ultimately transform your self-perception. While modest self-deprecation can signal humility, constantly discussing your perceived weaknesses can send mixed signals of insecurity. If you continually voice negative self-opinions, people may grow weary of the negativity, or worse, start doubting your capabilities. So, when discussing shortcomings, especially in professional settings, it's prudent to frame them as growth areas instead. Remember, nobody's perfect, but having the confidence to transform weaknesses into learning opportunities sets you apart and bolsters your self-assuredness. Over-complimenting others can subtly undermine your own confidence by inadvertently portraying others as superior to you. While it's admirable to uplift others, if you find yourself constantly downplaying your achievements in comparison, you may start to believe this narrative. Rather than trapping yourself in this cycle, take time to acknowledge and appreciate your own unique skills and talents. So celebrate your individuality and don't forget to acknowledge your own positive traits. It's a fundamental step towards nurturing self-confidence. Negative self-talk, if unchecked, can take a toll on your self-confidence. It's a common tendency to give more credence to our internal critic than to our inner cheerleader. But over time, this unbalanced internal dialogue can erode self-esteem and confidence. While positive affirmations can help counteract this negativity, the real game changer is learning to not take your self-deprecating thoughts too seriously. So the next time that inner critic pipes up, remember, you have the power to change the narrative. Apologizing excessively can unknowingly dent your self-confidence. Saying sorry too often can make you appear uncertain, as though you lack faith in your own abilities or decisions. It's essential to distinguish between situations that warrant an apology and those that don't. An overuse of apologies not only diminishes their effectiveness, but can also place undue blame on you. 
potentially leading others to perceive you as being at fault. Apologies should be sincere and only given when truly necessary. Confidence blooms when you value your own opinions and take charge of your decisions. If you're constantly letting others dictate your choices, you're not just surrendering control, but also stifling your confidence. Expressing your desires honestly and assertively is a cornerstone of self-confidence, which is only possible when you trust your judgment and follow your instinct. When others attempt to overrule or manipulate your decisions without considering your perspective, your confidence takes a hit. So, always remember, your voice matters, your opinions are valid, and the decisions you make have worth. Lowering your personal standards can lead to accepting less than what you truly deserve which invariably dents your self-worth and self-confidence. Although it might seem easier or more convenient in the moment, continuously settling for less than your standards erodes your self-esteem and opens the door to more problems. This downward spiral can start in one area and quickly spread to others. Your values and standards are a reflection of your self-worth. So, adhering to them, even in the face of adversity, fosters not only happiness, but also a robust sense of self-confidence. You deserve the best, and standing by your standards is a testament to that. The relationships you keep have a significant influence on your self-confidence. When surrounded by individuals who consistently criticize or belittle you, your self-esteem inevitably suffers. It's crucial to evaluate whether your relationships are truly beneficial for you, especially if your self-confidence has taken a hit due to these interactions. In striving for a confident and assertive persona, surrounding yourself with positive, caring individuals is key. These people should value your well-being as much as their own. So, take a moment to assess your relationships and consider the impact they have on your confidence. Remember, healthy relationships are a foundation for a confident you. Falling into the comparison trap is a quick route to undermining self-confidence. Seeing others achieve milestones or enjoy experiences that you desire can stir feelings of envy, insecurity, and dissatisfaction with your own life. However, it's essential to remember that everyone's journey is unique. Comparing your progress to others can lead to a distorted perception of your own worth. Instead, channel your energy into appreciating your unique qualities and achievements. Each person's path is different, and what may seem similar at a glance often isn't when scrutinized. Detecting and tackling habits that erode confidence is crucial for personal growth. Recognizing these habits is making changes. This involves mindful observation of daily activities, thoughts, and interactions. When you catch yourself engaging in a confidence-draining behavior, it's essential to pause and reflect on why it's happening and what its consequences are. Substituting these negative habits with positive, confidence-boosting actions is the next stage. With consistent practice, you can rewire your patterns of behavior, turning these confidence-sapping habits into stepping stones for self-assurance. So start observing, reflecting, and altering. A more confident you is on the horizon. And there you have it. Habits can either build or break your self-confidence. Remember, recognition is the first step towards reform, and with a dash of persistence, your journey towards more robust self-confidence is already underway. We hope this video brought value to your life and sparked a desire for change. If you enjoyed the content and found it helpful, do hit the like button. It helps us to continue providing videos like this. Subscribe to stay tuned for more insights and share your thoughts in the comments section. We love hearing your perspectives and experiences. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, keep cultivating a confident mindset.